Hey, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Matthew TV, and I'm here with my first ever NBA 2K21 build video. I know I'm a little bit late on this, but I mean, I'm just getting out what I can. And also, my editing software that I was using, it like wasn't really working out, so it's just gonna be a straight video, no edits or anything. So let's get right into it. So first of all, you want to make it a point guard, hand left. I mean, that's what I like. It don't really matter. You know, it's whatever. Jersey number, that don't matter either. I just like seven. So then, this is also an important part. So you go down to the equal green and equal yellow. You don't want to do the more green or more yellow. You want to do the equal green and equal yellow. So go ahead and click that. And your point guard, so obviously you want the most speed. So, the first one. And then for this, you want to go up to a 66 close shot. Max out driving layup so you're not weak in the paint. Uh, max out mid range, max out three point, max out close fade, and then on the free throw, go up until you get to 22. So you get a 66 free throw. Pass accuracy all the way up, ball handle all the way up, and then post moves go up until you get 22 playmaking. All right, there. So it's out of 44 post moves, and then just max out all the defense. Everything in the defense category category just max that out So then you end up with one finishing 22 shooting 22 playmaking and 10 defense I mean you could add the finishing To like the shooting or playmaking to get more of those badges, but I just don't want my dude to be super weak in the paint So I just put on 80 and then 66 for the close shot just so they're not weak in the paint or anything so go ahead, click continue. This also doesn't matter, but I just like going with the fine so he's not like, he don't look like a stick. And then 6-3, make the weight all the way down so you have the most speed and most acceleration since you're a guard. You wanna have the most speed you can. And then wingspan, go down one, because your strength goes up. And also like the offensive rebound and the steal, that doesn't really affect much. And then the close shot going down one, that doesn't affect much. But you also get plus one to the three point and plus one to the mid range. And then takeover, this doesn't, I mean, it's whatever you prefer. But I like, honestly, I like sharpshooter because, like, when you get it, you're not missing. At least if you know how to time your shot, you're literally not missing a shot. So I just like going with sharpshooting. So complete. And then you end up with a playmaking shot creator. Go ahead and click continue. And it's compared to Kyrie Irving and Stephen Curry, and I didn't see the last person, but there's some good people, so definitely made a good build. And then go ahead and put on the badges. Finishing, probably just contact finisher. That's what I would go with. Shooting, and if you guys have not noticed yet, they did take out quick draw, so I really enjoy that, because grinding for quick draw was very annoying. So I like Green, Ma Green Machine Hall of Fame, Dead Eye Hall of Fame. Heisman Hunter Hall of Fame, and then Range Extender Hall of Fame, and then, I mean, maybe Difficult Shot Silver and like Catch and Shoot Hall of Fame, or you could do like, yeah, I would probably go with that, so that looks like a good shooting setup, um, obviously handles for days, you don't want to run out of stamina super quick, quick first step, obviously also, so you're quick out of your dribble, Dimer, in case your teammates are dookie. Floor general, that's a must have just because it increases everything on the offensive side. And then I like bailout also. And we'll see, like, because you didn't even need it on Hall of Fame to get a good bailout animation. So we'll see how it is this year. But if it is needed on Hall of Fame, I'll go ahead and do that. And then if ankle breaker does work, because I know in 2K21 or 2K20, uh, ankle breaker didn't really work a whole lot so but if it does work I may change a little bit but that's what I would go with and then on with the defense obviously you want clamps because you're gonna be guarding a uh, another guard so you don't want to be like you don't want them to just blow right by you uh, intimidator on gold so you don't get like bad contest and then interceptor on silver and then pick dodger on silver because you know people are gonna be toxic and they're gonna be using picks and it's super annoying and then interceptor i love this badge because i mean you could even put it up to gold 
and like take down Intimidator and do that. But I don't know. I would just go with this. But yeah, Interceptor is really like I enjoy that badge a lot because you get a lot more steel animations in the passing lane. And that will be my first build in NBA 2K21. So I will see you guys in the next video. Or if you guys want to pop in a stream next time, be sure to turn on noties, click the sub button, and be sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Appreciate you guys coming by. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.